to Southampton. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. As you can see, all of the boats and stuff in the harbour just behind me. We're here in Southampton this afternoon and we're going to visit the Hyde Pier Railway. Now you're probably thinking, well, I can't see a railway, there's cars, there's boats. But actually, the Hyde Pier Railway is behind you across the harbour. We've got to get on a foot passenger ferry which takes us across over there and the price of the ticket includes the railway as well. Now I have done this on a number of occasions here in Southampton and it is 100% worth a visit to this railway if you're in the area. And the easiest way from Southampton to the pier is to get the ferry which goes from just behind me. Not one of those red ones, they go into the other way. We don't want to get on one of those, it goes from sort of by there. So we're going to take you along for the journey. Something a bit different on the channel, we're doing sort of a more vlog style video, not really done many of those have I? So we're going to take you on board the ferry over to the Hythe Pier and then we're going to board the railway and have some on board and sort of line side shots I guess you could say and some scenic shots as well. So come and join me as I visit the Hythe Pier Railway here in Southampton. So this is the ferry that's going to take us over to the Pier Railway which is over that way. Uh, I just got my ticket, it cost me £8 return which I think is pretty good including the little cruise across the harbour and the railway. I think that's rather nice. It takes about 10 minutes to cross over so let's go and get on board. It really is worth a nice little cruise, it gives you some lovely views as we cross the harbour here to the railway. So let's get on board. High Pier Railway and there is the uh, lovely little train we're going to take a ride on. Just got to walk up the ramp here and get on board the lovely train. Let's see if he's a good driver. I would end up crashing it by now if it was me. Right, let's go and get on board the uh, train. So here we are then just on board this narrow gauge railway here at High Pier. Currently on my own but I don't think that's going to last long. Very, very quirky little train, all designed from wood by the way, except for the chassis. Being by the sea, not so sure that's a good idea, but let's enjoy this short trip.
and here we are I've made it to Hythe here at the other end of the pier as you can see it is a fairly long pier here and it's a really enjoyable journey and here's the uh, little locomotive that pulled us a little electric thing very unique isn't it and I'd ra rather think it would be very old too train and yes this is technically a push-pull train because here's the driving end here uh, fantastic that the Suns decided to make an appearance and here is the gauge it's running on I couldn't tell you what inch gauge that is would be about 15 inch maybe somewhere around there I don't really know my gauges other than double O and O gauge and stuff like that but there's the track disappearing off into the distance down the pier there Yes, it is a bit windy, you probably can hear that, but we're on the coast, so... And that is where we've just come from, over there, the port of Southampton. And here is the maintenance shed here at the end of the pier. I'm sure would like to get in there to see what's in there. I believe they did start operating steam locomotives when this originally opened. No luck today, though, just uh, a good old electric train. And as you can see, there's the buffers there, and the main road just the other side. Here's the station building, too rather nice little place to spend some time. then away from the pier into the marine village and you can definitely get a sense of how long the pier is. You can just see the ferry there that just actually came in dropping all the passengers off and you can see how long this pier really is. And it's said on that sign I filmed back at the station, it's one of the it's the world's oldest continually operating pier railway. And it's here in Hyde, Southampton. I'm sure we'll get a nice view of the uh, train going back from here as well. So uh, let's catch that when it's uh, taking its passengers back to the land.
and there we go guys that was my trip here to the Hyde Pier Railway which is currently just behind you I'm having a, a really well deserved coffee before my trip back over to Southampton I'm gonna have another run on the railway and catch the ferry back tomorrow I'm doing something really rather exciting I'm going on the paddle steamer Waverley here from uh, Southampton over to the Isle of Wight and yes of course I'm gonna do another video for you so thank you very much for joining me here at the Hive Pier Railway and let me know if your thoughts on my new vlog style sort of video here I thought it'd be something different for you so once again I'll be back on location like this or back at Jubilee Road very soon bye everyone <laughs>